Hi pals, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet yeah, another video. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, if you are watching and you haven't yet subscribed, then I really would appreciate it if you could. Um, I am doing a giveaway when I get to 1,500 and um, we're almost there. I think I'm about 20 away or something like that. So if you're just watching, then please do. And also, please, please, please just give me a wee comment if you're watching because I do try and respond to as many comments as i possibly can hopefully all of them but um at the minute <coughs> uh yeah i try and respond to them all i don't know what i'm trying to say there um i have already recorded this video once when i went to upload it it just would not upload for whatever reason so i've deleted it and i'm just going to start again so all of my um figures are done so i'm gonna have to just go through it with you which might make it a little bit boring so i do apologize for that um, but I just want it as record on YouTube that I've done it for myself to look back on. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't mind if you want to just, as, you know, jump on by. However, I do want to ask, before we start, I have um, a family member that is going to be um, going off for, I think it's about four weeks, three to four weeks, over to South America to do some sort of... Um, work with the people over there, so a young lady, um, and just starting out in life and wants to do this before she gets, you know, involved in her own life and her own progress and all the rest of it. And it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. Um, however, it is funded, um, a lot of it is funded by herself. She has to raise the money um, for that. So what I'm going to ask, and I don't normally ask for things on my channel, and I'm not asking anything for me specific, specifically, and I'm not asking for any money to the donations but what i am asking for is that if you could watch the um watch my video in full um f at least for the month of february and um watch the the ads that come up we know that we know most of us will skip them and stuff um if we're running out of time and whatever but if you could just watch them the reason i'm asking for that is because i am not really in a financial position that i can give her much money towards her um her trip and her the money that she needs um but obviously i am going to but i thought well, what i would do over and above what i can financially afford to give her is to give her the money that i make from youtube but at the minute i don't quite meet the threshold every month you have to meet the thre a threshold every single month to to um get the money paid every month so um the money that i get paid in february the end of this month will be for december and january and then if i don't make the threshold in february i won't get the payment until um march is added on to it so it'll be february march so i'll get paid that in april um so obviously i want to give her the money quite soon because she is raising it and she needs to know what money she has and what what have you um so yeah i just thought that would give me a little bit extra to give to her over and above what i can financially afford um so I will still be taking the 25% off um, to give to the tax man as well. So it won't be the full amount, but um, yeah, if you could, we would appreciate it. Um, just for this month, really, just for February. Um, so that it would benefit her. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing thing what she's doing. It's an amazing opportunity for young uh, people to be able to go abroad and work with other um people and see other ways of living in countries that are not um that don't have the money and i mean at the minute we feel like our, our country's on its knees with financial problems that we all have you know with the, the cost of living and all that and it is it's, it's dire and it's hard it's hard to live in but um the places that she will be going will be places that have a lot less money in general and you know they still yeah, they still manage to smile and laugh and enjoy their families so um yeah absolutely fantastic opportunity for her there will be lots and lots and lots of people helping her and helping you know she will be doing fundraising and all that kind of stuff so she will um have other people to help her but i would just like to if i can give her that bit more but anyway enough of that <laughs> chatted on so let's just go into the budget so <clears throat> as i said already filmed this video i do apologize for that so um we have already done everything that we need to do and i've actually already filmed my cash stuff in as well so i'm really hoping that that video uploads tomorrow when i need it to um but um, we'll just have to wait and see 
So we have done the weekly check-in. So I put £35 into groceries and I spent 30 which meant I had £5 left over. I had 65 in fuel, I spent 40 leaving 25 My spending, I spent £2.55 and there was two forty-five left, but my spending actually um, was added on to work spending because I spent seven fifty-five in work spending, um, so I had to then use my spending to cover that. And miscellaneous, um, I used to buy... Um, migraine tablets and um heartburn tablets and things things like that <laughs> was that migraine tablets and heartburn tablets when i went shopping so i used the miscellaneous money for that um uh yeah and the work spending i went over so that was where we were with weekly spending and then my didn't find it fell out my monthly calendar but I was speaking to somebody um yesterday I believe it was and she was saying that she or her mum her mum has this book and she was saying that um she writes her weekly spending as she spends it there and I think um James Budget Life there's a few people that do it so I'm going to start doing that because um it will really help for when I come to do my cash stuffing, uh, my cash stuffing, my cash um, check-in at the end of the week. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. And then I'll just use my expense tracker for the same as what I'm doing just now for my bank spends. <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm going to try and utilise this calendar because I do like the calendar um, page. But I just I haven't been using it. And it's been a, a whole year thing that I've just not been using it. But I really think it's a good page to to utilise, which is why it's in my book. Um but yeah, I haven't been. So let's, I'm going to start that. Um, so feel free over on Instagram to ask me have I used my calendar this week. <laughs> when, you know, I've been shopping, doing my food shopping and all that kind of stuff. So, right, let's dive in. Okay, so rollover was as we predicted at £1,730.43. So that included my wages for the month and a little bit left over in January, which was very exciting. Um, and then £4.48 came in and that was from Buy Me A Coffee. Very controversial, I do know that. Um, but I do have a link in my bio and um, people are choosing to use that. So £4.48 has come in from that and so I really, really do appreciate um, the coffee. Thank you so, so much. And I had 38 pence came in um, <clears throat> from interest from the bank. So I put them in separately just so that I could... Um, see what exactly we're for but yeah so interest was the 38 pence i then took it 32 pound 11 in from etsy to um cover my printer payment that will come out um this month it comes out every month so i brought that in i am going to hopefully pay off the balance this month so that it'll just be one payment coming out in March for the last few months of the payment and then that's it done um and i didn't use any sinking funds this week which is technically a lie because actually when I'm thinking on it, I did use five pound of Piper's money. Um, so yeah, I did technically use sinking funds. So I'm just going to change that. It won't make much difference further down, but um, it won't make much. It'll make uh, makes a difference to her envelope, but it doesn't really make much difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, so I'm not going to change the full full things but just to keep it right <clears throat> so um all my bills came out so this the usual ones so um council tax car tax pet plan loan my broadband was up by four pence which i thought was a bit weird um mobile my westcott which is an old bill um I, I don't even know what it's for i think it was a credit card many 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 years ago we're talking 15 to 20 years ago um that i'm paying off and i just pay off 10 pound a week i didn't pay it for many years, um, but now I'm paying it off. Um, Amazon, that's the printer, as I said. So we're paying month eight. So we've got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, another four months to pay. So I might pay that in full. Rent, 350 um, as planned. Aqua, 37.23 as planned. And then car payment. I completely forgot to put my car payment in my plans. So... Um, yeah, we're three, going to be £300 short this month 
that I wasn't expecting. It's kind of thrown my plans for the uh, the month a bit askew. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll just have to deal with it. It had to come out. It came out. So my bills in total was £1,141.77. And I should have known when I seen this figure of 840 that my bills usually come out at 1000 So I should have known that there was something wrong. But anyhow, I didn't. So that leaves me with 625.63 instead of the 920. We discussed the paper sink of them thing. I put £10 over to credit card, so that actually went over to Hyperjar. And it'll just sit in an account, so if I actually need to use it, I can bring it back. Um, But by the end of February, if I don't need to use it, excuse me, I will pay a little bit more to my credit, my credit card. Excuse me. So that leaves me with 615.63. I then, as planned, put in five hundred and four. Oh, no, never. <laughs> put in seventy pound into my uh, sinking funds. So if you watch my cash stuff in from last week, that I'll explain where all that went. Um, which left me with five hundred forty-five pound sixty-three. As we've seen at the start of the video, um, the uh, actuals came in with the cash envelope, so thirty pound groceries, five for Piper. Uh, 40 for fuel, 255 my spending, 5 for miscellaneous, 5 for work spending and I didn't do anything with Etsy so that left me with £8, £87.55 in total spent on my cash envelopes leaving me with £458.08. When I did my budget I did my uh, cash stuffing or my savings challenges of monthly challenge and me time so I've put ten, twenty pound in there but then today I actually did um thirty pound into Valentine's so you will all be very gutted that you didn't get to see my lovely colouring in again <laughs> this week. But in the last video I actually went completely silent whilst I was colouring so you're probably just lucky that we didn't. But um we put twenty pound into the balloons and we put ten pound into the plumber pot and as you can see my really bad uh colouring there so that was that so 30 pound went in there and then a two pound 45 change so two pound coins and 45 pin change went into those challenges so in total my savings challenges amount came to 52.45 um take that away and i'm left with 405 pound 63 pence which is exactly what's in my bank so that is good however it means i have 405 pound left to do me until the end of february which for me is three and a half weeks before I get paid again. So luckily, um, I can put my expenses in and I will get them, put them in on the 13th uh, and they will get paid on the 17th. So we have £400 to last us for two weeks. Eek. But it's doable, it, it can be done and it will be done. Um. So yeah, that is where we're at um and that was really basically all that i did um so yeah if you if you oh, <laughs> i ha absolutely have no idea because i've already recorded this and i recorded my cash stuff and my brain has gone to complete mulch so i am going about to head off to do a food shop um but yeah i just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that has wished me a happy birthday month a happy birthday week um and yeah i will be 47 on tuesday so exciting times um i am going out for lunch with some friends so it will be lovely but yeah i hope you all have a lovely week coming up um and just enjoy your time with your friends family and all the rest of it and um yeah, just if you could watch my videos right the way through, watch the adverts or just let the adverts play at least, um, I would really appreciate it for the month of February because that just means that I can give a, my family member just that little bit extra money um, because she will, in the summer, she will be taking a month off of her little job that she has. So, you know, her little spending money pot will be lower as well. Um, so, yeah, I just want to support and best way i can and obviously i will be putting it into my budget but also i am um, if you can and i can get a payment in february from uh, youtube i would just be giving her the majority of that i will take tax out of it first but yeah that is us for this week take care have a good one bye